Welcome back to Metal Gear Peace Walker Recollection. This is episode 8. Thank you. It is almost entirely professional. <laughs> Shut up! Congratulations, Fuck professionalism! Sir. No! We have to be professionalism. No. Okay, so as you can see once again for the eagle-eyed viewers, it's a different rating. I've been grinding. So, grinding. Cecile's already in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? No! The game put her there. Uh, Kojima, you fucking misogynistic bastard. By the way, starting a long, a long uh, storied history of Huey being fucking useless, besides his legs, um, his, the ID card he gave us isn't working, so now we gotta run around and find a fucking ID card. Are you fucking serious? Nah, yep. Yeah, Huey, serious. you legless bastard! That poor bastard. He's kind of a sad guy, but he becomes slightly despicable in his sadness later on. Mm. A later game or later on? Um, later games, right. and we're going to have some actually very interesting discussion about him as a character once we get to the basically the end of his character arc. Because he goes away in a later game, and then he doesn't... He isn't mentioned or talked about or anything until much, much later in the series. That's not cool. It, it, well, you'll you'll see. You'll see. So there's Cecile being a good woman in the kitchen. She looked all oh, ew. That's gross. <laughs> that was. I don't know if it's gonna get picked up on your other microphone, but that was bassy. Was it? Uh, but yeah, so here's um, Cecile. She's just basically... She's in this game as another breadcrumb. And like I said, I think she was Kojima's waifu for a while. Mm, yeah. Is it, is he, had a, he had a thing for the French, apparently. So I'm not going to show it, but I want to mention... Remember a couple missions ago where we had to look in those trucks? Yes. And we had to remember which truck was which, and one of the trucks had the 140.96. Uh, yeah, like a frequency number? Yeah. Um, well, just out of shits and gigs, because I didn't remember what the fuck was going on in there. I looked in there on a, on a, 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 a subsequent run-through of that mission, and there's a poster of Mei Ling in there. And if you don't know who Mei Ling is, just, you know, it's a callback to a previous Kojima game that uh, technically happens 60 years from now in the timeline, but... Or wait, oh, nine, it's 74, 98, that's, oh, that's 24 years, so 24 years in, in the Futuro. Futuro. Futurtle. Wait, oh, no, right. that's 30, math, 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 <laughs> no, that's 24 years, hooray. Jesus Christ, man, what's the, what's the perk to having Cecile anyways? Uh, she's just a character in here, and, and she goes in the kitchen. Oh, no, wait, I get, about? I get what you're saying. So basically, up to this point, <clears throat> if you've been doing a lot of grinding and stuff, you're barely going to have enough uh, peeperoo uh, in, the, in the mess hall to right. keep food up. And once you right. get Cecile, um, she's best in the kitchen, so they put her in the kitchen, which is kind of poo garbage, but, you know, misogyny, yay. Yay, Kojima, I mean the Japanese. They okay, really but anyways, care. let's take a look. So, my food is at 102%, and over there, uh, I, I had to put Miller in there. I had to Why? fucking throw Miller in there to keep my shit above 100%. But basically, once you get Cecile, that's when your your food goes over 100% if you're not grinding like crazy. And that's basically once you start getting your morale up and starting to really, or start to really take off on the uh, 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 base building section here. Perfect timing for the recording. My uh, landscapers are walking by my door with their leaf blowers. Son of a bitch! Yes, this is a very bad little boy. Why did I leave and then come back here? You didn't have Let's any assign attention. everybody. There we go. Let's flick canceled. I'll deal with those guys later. Not really. Throw him on the intel team and <laughs> take, one of the, take one of these guys out of here. I can fucking hear them. Can't you hear them? Yes, is they're fucking loud. Of course they're loud. They're literally like standing outside my door, looking in the windows with their leaf blowers <laughs> on. Sons I mean, of they're, bitches. They're, they're, they're swaying to and fro right in front of your door. Son of a the bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. 
Well, it's so that's neat. What? So before then, you couldn't you couldn't go over 100 percent unless you really really grind. Yeah, until you grinded out dude bros to put in your kitchen. Hmm. All right, let's locate this fucking ID card and then we'll go through the thing and we'll do it as stuff. Do it. We'll do it as stuff. Uh, Banana. Now. So you have to find a guy Maybe with an ID orange jacket where you can hear the Quetzals jacket. singing. That That's the birds. The fuck's a Quetzal? Oh, okay. It's a kind of bird. But the nice thing is with the setup, since we're not, since we can't fucking hear anything, mm. we're not gonna hear a roo the Quetzaroos. <laughs> so basically, we're gonna wander around shooting all the dudes until we find the dude that has the thing. Mm. So this will take a couple hours. So I hope you guys are ready for parts 8, 9, 10, and 11 of the Pisaru, Wakaru, Playaru, Thururu. Despicable. God damn it, that hot dogaru shit stuck in my head. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man, you'd love Filthy Frank. I'll filthy your Frank. My Frank dogs, dog, dogaru. There's supposed to be a Quetzal singing. Thank you for that lovely insight. Quetzal. You gotta figure out a way to fucking do this. Oh shit! A man's butt. There's a man's butt. Yeah, you're what? down. Yeah, freeze. Shoot him in the ass. Look at him. Look at him shaking in fear. Look at him shaking. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, there's a dark. Uh, oh, apparently it didn't work there. But that doesn't matter because he's fucking gone. He's out of here. He's out of here. Okay. Mm. Hey, look, there's a prisoner roof. And also, I don't think I can get out this way. But that's okay, because I have a prisoner roof. But we're looking for guys with orange vests. And basically, that's like the next, I guess, the good word would be level up in terms of uh, enemies. Because we have the guys with the helmets now. After that... CIA. Yeah, after that, you get the guys with the vests. Ah, somebody saw me. Oh, great. From behind... He's oh wow! He's shooting me super good, super good. That's right. Stupid good. All right, I'm angry. Like you can't even see me from here, and this thing is so bloody inaccurate. Bloody. Pa 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 pa. Come on, yeah. Get him. Hey. I'm doing it. I'm no, shit. Hit him. Hit him. Now hit he's him. just in I've been getting shot repeatedly with a silenced weapon caution. Perfectly normal, you know. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here, because I have fucked up tremendously. Royally. Yep. That's that's all my LPs in general. Whoa. Whoa. I figure if I become self depreciating and Irish enough oh shit. Holy fuck! There's man's... Man's butt. Shit. Okay, those mans are down. Hatu Dogaru. <laughs> God damn it! Dog <laughs> Dogaru! I'm fucking this up. Yep. Also, I clearly need Wataru. Par for the course. Shut up! <laughs> it's not my f- Oh, Jesus. What a whiff. I missed him by an inch. He should have heard the snap of that. He's not very good. He must be deaf. Yeah. Combat will do that to you. Yeah. But what combat? They're literally hiding in bushes while I shoot them in the ears. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Look at this enemy. I'm going to contact his prohibited. Sh ah. Shut up. <laughs> you shut up. You tell me what to do. So this is really one of the few times in the games where you run into, in all the Metal Gear games, where you run into straight up hiding ass enemies. Normally the enemies are patrolling and it's your job to make your way around the patrols. But in this one, it's like avoid the people who are actively waiting and searching for you. Which from, I guess I, you, I guess you would call it a story standpoint. From a story standpoint, that means these fuckers know you're here, which means that they're like following a like a trail of like half-eaten fish carcasses or whatever the fuck snakes leaving around because you saw him eating out that fish in that one thing you are a quiet motherfucker you were saying eating out though yeah okay 
<laughs> and? Okay, how do you eat out a fish? Um, you like lick its vagina? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> oh, god damn it. So, this used to have this used to have a bunch of shit blocking the way, but in a side mission, you send in one of your other guys to blow that open for snake. And they blow it open And they snake. blow it open, so I just used it to kind of skip past the area. Mm. And I have no fucking idea where I'm supposed to be going at this point. This could take a long time. I may have to turn up the Varu Maru. Just a little bit. I really just need to find the... Oh. Oh. I really just need to find the guys with the or the guy with the orange vest. Well, eventually you'll get him, right? Uh, eventually. Is he out like patrolling or is he hiding, hiding? If I search around hard enough. Oh, look, there's a there's a, a thing right there, but that's only to get to the goal, and the goal is the AI laboratory still. Um, he'll he'll either be searching or walking around. God, this is gonna take fucking forever. This is bad. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> he saw me, but not... And then... Yeah. He then took a fucking face dive. Because <laughs> he took a bullet to the face. Pow! And by a bullet, I mean a compression dart. You get stun rounds as opposed to uh, tranquilizer rounds in uh, games coming up here. And it's basically rubber bullets. And so you get like a silenced stun weapon and put a scope on that thing and just go for headshots and you're just shooting people in the face with rubber bullets which should be fatal but it just just puts yeah. them to sleep should totally do that it's the well it's gonna happen i mean that's gonna oh, be no. half the lp when we get to oh, that no. specific gameru oh no it's fine yeah um on the subject of metal gears metal gears can you only make one, or can you make, like, multiple? Ah, uh, no, you make one. You get one, it's canon that there's one. Balls. Okay, I see That's a guy stupid. over there. I see several guys over there. Looking... So you so you can grind and grind and grind, and you only make one Metal Gear? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, the majority of the grinding basically get... What are these guys looking down there for? Avenue of Approach. Oh. Well, that's the wrong fucking avenue because I walked up behind him. Is there a way? You, uh, you can't, can't even go that way! I can't even go that way. There's a. Oh, that's a prisoner. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I can't go any further this way, which means that the guy is back in the other direction, which means I fucked up. Fucked, fucked up. up! I heard good things. I heard good things. Not about this LP, but I heard good things. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Shut up. Yeah, I went a little Italian there for a second. My wife's been rubbing off on me. Hey yo! Uh, <laughs> Shut up! Da -da, da -da, da -da. You're not my dad. I'm gonna punch this scarecrow. Yeah! Crab battle. Scarecrow battle. Scarecrow butthole. Okay, so there's one area I haven't been to yet, and it's that area with the little squiggly line on the right there. The mm. tilde or whatever it's called. So I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna do look over De la there. muerte. Al muerte, you're de la. De la. Yeah. Of the. It's not. The. It's not racist. If, if you forget what a Quetzal sounds like, give Cecile a call on the radio. She'll remind you. Fuck you, Cecile. Because they said, what? hang on, where's my fucking Kodak? Where is you? Oh. Kyo kyo, that's what. Fuck you. That's not what, what I want. Kyo kyo. I want, I want, I want, this guy looks like this, you're looking for this guy, tap him. <coughs> he's got an orange vest, they already told you. Yeah, he's supposed to have an orange vest, but I feel like, like, it's Does been he? long enough not seeing a guy with an orange vest that at this point I'm like, well, I don't, I don't fucking. What is orange? I don't know anything. Like? What our color, <laughs> I can't make I am... our, oh, there's a guy with an orange vest right there, fuck me. Hey, look at that. Well, at least I got that other guy. Yeah. So let's tap him off. There we go, ID card. So these are the next guys you get, are these, uh, these orange vested Aru guys Aru. I've got to stop doing that. This can't be the rest of the LP is me saying Aru after every fucking You say word. Aru all the damn time, even in real life. Shut up. You're you wrong. Shut up, Aru. You're wrong and your butt is fart.
He maybe. Dark I'll send Souls. I you a chocolate mold of my butthole. Oh, I saw that. That's so bad. <laughs> you didn't see mine. You Wh saw a mold. Why would you do that? I don't know. Some people are into that. Why would you send someone a chocolate mold of your butthole? If you want chocolate butthole, just don't wipe for a while and be like, I'm sitting on your face. No, I was going to say, I was saying, I was gonna say that. It's like, well, Oh, no. Oh, oh, snipper. What happens if you don't wipe for a while and you send in a mold? You get, like, chunks? Dingle. Oh. Oh. Dingleberry? I don't want to know about your chocolate dingle chunks. <laughs> Metal Gear, okay. Oh god. So this was the part where Snake started sending chocolate molds of his butthole to Paz and Cecile. Oh. In the hopes of romancing them. In the hopes of them eating his chocolate butthole. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's right, Cecile. Eat it right in front of me. Fuck Go me. Meryl. Meryl. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> I love this stupid ass game and all the stupid ass shit we've found. Oh look, that man is out. I must have been, been through here, here before. before. I've been through here before. Meryl, Meryl, did you know? Should I go loud for the or not loud? But should I go lethal for the rest of this one? Fuck it. Hey, look, there's a man. Pra, pra. Yeah. He's like, Ugh. you're dead. Yay. Okay, that's, this place is oh. getting oh somebody saw me got confused and then was like nope it's probably nothing the giant spurts of blood and the man teabagging my friend no it's just nothing <laughs> he's not dead he's sleeping i must be hallucinating it must be them shrooms <laughs> okay ow i wonder how much of that is going on in the metal gear universe what <laughs> shrooms Anaconogenics? Oh shit! Oh what the oh, fuck? Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh shit! I forgot I couldn't CQC with uh... a non CQC weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. So he's all fucked up, but they're already calling in reinforcements. Yeah. Might as well take that suppressor off. I can't. Oh. Not in this one. Oh, that's stupid. Oh look at that guy! Like. Oh no! Another man! Man's anus! Oh look, there's holy shit. How are they there. surviving this? <laughs> this submachine yeah, gun is blade. ass. Uh, Actually, the these weapons usually start off pretty inaccurate, um, but they get better um, they get better when you use them more because you level up your experience with them. And when you level up your experience with them, um, they get better. Yeah, they be you become more accurate with them. Huh. So it's less about how good the make gun is make, and more about you how the turtle. The enemy knows where you, are. you can't move if the enemy. Oh shit! There is another guy. Uh, Hot. Uh, I'm out of ammo. Out of ammo. Fuck this. Where you Get at? Mad. Chapow. Hey. Fuck you. Did I get him? Maybe. Did he actually die? No. 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 He took that grenade to the leg like a champ probably capture that guy Doody. i'm out of uh shit okay oh. cool we got it now okay that was a hell of a shit show that took 20 minutes yeah this is your fault tonaru no it's not do -dee -do 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 your fault because you're too lazy to find a way to put audio ah, into your ears. <laughs> no it's because i i went the wrong way i shouldn't have gone the way i opened also I noticed there was a butterfly in the back of that snake spends yeah. this entire game chasing butterflies and that's not a euphemism it's kind Don't of a euphemism. Chasing waterfalls. Duh. Oh, no. Ha! No, ha! get out of here, ha! Michael Keaton and the ha! other guys. Ha! Hey, I don't want no scrubs. Okay? Scrotal. Scrotal scrub. Oh. Scrotal scrub. Hey, look, there's a there's a commercial for, sn my balls. for snake chip. Oh. Ha <laughs> oh. ha! It's the boss's horse. horse. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Oh, I thought that oh. was the horse's hand. <laughs> okay, so now he hears the boss, but it's not the boss. It's this person in a red duck. Oh, Jesus. Strange love. Look at this. Look at this babe. Look at this babe. Is she like, uh... What the fuck is she doing? Uh, snorting She's cocaine. on coke! 
Maybe. I despise you. Cocaine. You men in your guns. I can zoom in. Where can I zoom in on? Flowers. Okay, so what flowers were those? Do you recognize those? Uh, were they the ones at the end of the cutscene uh, for like Metal Gear 3? Yes, those flowers are called Stars of Bethlehem. Uh, those are the flowers that you fought the boss in in that field at the end of Metal Gear Solid 3. They're also the flowers that uh, Snake leaves on the boss's grave. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I can't see no booper is. But yeah, so that's showing um, if you if you if you pay attention and you see that that shows you that she is somehow connected to the bossaru. God damn it! I gotta stop myself. <laughs> so she so she's connected. Is she like a daughter or a uh, cousin or a sister? Or aunt? Uh, just more infatuation. Oh. Everybody's infatuated with the boss enough to. Completely turn history down the George Orwellian dystopian nightmare future. Censorship. ID tag PMCs with ID tag weapons. ID tag prophylactics being used in ID tag whores in Shanghai. Vadrina. 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 I like saying things from future games that we'll be getting to that don't uh, spoil anything at all. So the truth is that you find the reputation of your mentor. You haven't played four either, have you? I have not played four. How are you gonna play it? I am going to steal my neighbor's PlayStation 3. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Very well. I'm gonna say, hey, let me steal your fucking PlayStation 3. I'll give you a game. Ooh, Crown Royal. Cr what? Ooh. What about Crown Royal? I have it in a flask right next to me. Oh, well, that's gonna change. That's gonna alter the course of this LP. Oh, shit. Stop that. What? So, <laughs> so what the fuck is she doing? I don't know, but she just basically <laughs> said, "Hey, you can meet the boss. Like the boss is still alive." Uh, care for a sniff of a snuff? You're a cigar man, aren't you? Okay, it's <coughs> snuff. There's your. Uh, oh, I burp. That was the unprofessional. The fuck is snuff? Answer. You know what snuff is? No. You're in the. He, look he now, he's snuff snuffing snuff. it off of her. What the fuck? Yeah, girl. Dude, you never know what the fuck's in that shit. <laughs> what the fuck is snuff? Okay, so look at that. What the fuck is snuff? It's it's a type of tobacco. Okay, that's the mammal pod. Um, it's it's yeah. I've heard about this thing. It's AI. It's important. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I can reduce you to carbon at the press of a button. Um, isn't he already carbon? So that's the boss talking to to him. Or at least it's the boss's voice. And that's the AI Potteru. Boss, is he crying? Is that you? I call, it the I call it the mammal pod. Oh, he's sweating. I call it the mammary pod. Mammaries! Oh, I'm sorry. So she's just straight up like, hey, here. I made the boss in an AI. But the answer, or the question is why. It's basically as close to the boss as possible. God damn it! Tony, stop me! Hold on. Does that mean this is going to be in like one of the boss fights? What? Is she the Terminator? What? Huh? Maybe. But let's not in let's let's just think about it. I was in speculation here. So this is going this is once again going more into the whole AI thing, and that's basically that that in order for turn to work, it has to actually work. You have to actually be able to follow through with a threat after uh, someone launches a nuke against you. And that's that's how deterrent works. So they're like, well, who the fuck, whose judgment can we can we can we go with? Who 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 possibly in history could we could we trust to be the, basically the deterrent, the judge of the entire planet when it comes to nuclear weapons? And so they pick the boss. Um, 
people would have gone with somebody else, but like Mother Teresa or some bullshit. Well, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, the boss... I mean, think about everything you know about the boss from the previous game. Don't know much. Are you kidding me? No, I'm just kidding. She did absolutely everything to, to follow her mission to the end. It turned out she was more loyal to her mission than she was to herself, or to her comrades, or even to her country. Um, to an extent. So she was loyal to her mission. And mm -hmm. so if her mission is to be the deterrent, then she's going to follow through with that. No. She and now Snake is, like, she's trying to get out of Snake that she wasn't actually a huge traitor. Like, you can tell that already, and Snake is like, no, I can't tell this secret, Naru. God damn it! Fuck, is he still sweating? Because he's dealing with the boss. Look at that, he's, he's, he's fucking freaking sweating him like out. crazy. Jack boss. Jack boss. Boss Jack. Boss Jack. boss Jack. 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 So he is so... He is so... What's the word I'm looking for? So entranced with the boss. Entranced? Is that the word? Yeah. He's so enthralled with the boss that he's... Like, look at... He's, he's acting like an idiot. He's being a stupid mouth face mouth. Face. Mouth face, mouth, mouth, mouth. He's face, being mouth, a stupid. Mouth, See, mouth. he's a retard face. He just got captured inside of an AI pod. God damn it! And he's snake. gonna have a nice little heart to heart with this robot, who's gonna be all like, "I'm a Vocaloid. Robot boss. Would you like to look up porn of me on ARPANET? Uh, well, uh, on what? Yeah, the internet wasn't real at this point. So at this point, Snake is, is for some reason, pulling the AI pods out of the boss room. And I don't you understand. Do uh, it's part of the game, and I don't remember what the point is. But I'm doing it, because I, have, I haven't played this section in so long, so... Fuck it, I'm just, just dealing with it. But every, huh. time, every time I grab one of these things, the boss says something. So I don't know what the fuck... Oh, shit, is going on. It dumber and dumber. Uh, you're dumber and dumber. You're dumb and dumber. Oh, bitches uh, ain't shit but hoes and tricks. B bitches love cake. Bitches love cake. Blah, 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 Borgor. Borgor? Yeah. That's what that's from. Okay, so for some reason he was doing this and now there's hallucination going on and shit's weird. Shit's discontinuing. I think I broke her a little bit, but I don't understand exactly what the fuck's going on at this point. Did you have to take those things out? Maybe not. But I did anyways, so, you know, fuck it. And here we go, another flashback to this epic I moment. My, what, like, hands down one of my favorite moments in the Metal Gear games. Techniques, sure. This right here? But what about how yeah. Like not like... Oh shit, I pressed the wrong trigger. God damn it. Oh, so it's doing it again? Yeah. Oh. Am I supposed you to have a quick up. Am I supposed to have a quick time battle with the boss here? Probably. Is that what's going on? Left trigger. Yeah, I did it. There we go. Oh, I ripped off her coat. Whoosh. Left trigger. There she comes. Right trigger. Right trigger. Oh shit, I screwed oh, it up. Oh, you fucked it up. God damn. What a what a flaccid way to end the fucking video episode. Right trigger. There's a knife for Rue. God damn it! <laughs> Tony, I gotta stop. It's stuck in my head. <laughs> oh. You start doing electroshock therapy. Every time you say Aru, you get shot. I I'm tempted if I had something in the room. Left trigger. I did it. X! Oh, she broke my gun. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, button! I pressed the wrong button. I was supposed to press on the fucking D-pad? What is this shit? What is happening? This is the most flaccid way to end a fucking episode ever. I'm sorry, everybody. Let's play cancel. Yeah. I'm leaving. Right? this. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Nobody wants you here, not even you. There, I pressed it. As long as we have Did you push back? Yeah. No I had to press right. Look at the look on his face. Why? Why? I didn't do it! Fuck! Why? I'm totally fucking this up so bad. God damn it. Why?
There's an audio prompt that's supposed to help you with this when you do the damn thing. Not if you don't have audio. Yeah. You should fix that. This is some. I can't with my setup. I would have to buy a whole new fucking sound system. Shit! Shit on the deck! I hope you guys like hearing the same fucking thing over and over and looking at the same stillish art. Why? Shit! <laughs> God damn fucking son of a bitch. I'm so bad at this! What the fuck? Oh. Okay, now I'm supposed to press. I hate fucking quick time events. I can't wait till we're done with quick time events. Basically, till we're out of this. Shit, I did it again! Pay attention! I am! <laughs> I forgot, I thought it was the other one. Why? Fuck you! And then left. And then left. And then right trigger, I think it was. I think it was. Or X. Left, right trigger. And she threw me. This is great. What a flashback. I should just I should just take this part out of this LP and put our, our boss fight with the boss in here. I mean I won't do that. But yay, I'm fucking done with it. Yay. 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 We done did it, bitches. Bitches. Man, this one's running long. I'm sorry. No, it's not running long. But here we are. We're out outside. We're outside. What? Nope. We're in the field okay. where we fought the bossaroo. Ah! I don't even realize I'm doing it anymore. Mm. Hey, look, they're taking the mamaru. God! <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you're doing it on purpose. I'm not. I'm really not. It's happening. Oh God! It's a big thing. So this thing that's been chasing us down for fucking ever oh, is here for our 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 our, our, our meaty goodens. You fight this next, right? Yeah. I mean, look at it. It's pointing. It's it's pointing. It's lightning dick at us. So they had a VTOL in the fucking sixties. Crystalis fight, apparently. Hmm. To be continued. On the next mission. Hot to Dogaroo of Dragon Ball Z.